morning everyone my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel in today's video I thought I would take y'all along for a finals week in my life today is Monday December 7th it's about 8 25 a.m. right now and today is our last day of classes then tomorrow is reading day and then Wednesday through Sunday is our finals time so a little stressed about that but I just woke up got all ready um, and I have class in like four minutes so we better get going now like 1 30 and i have a lot to do this morning i ended up editing a video for y'all and that's about it i ate some food and pretty much just chilled i had a very very stressful day yesterday finishing up final projects and things so kind of took the morning off after class it is now 1 30 um i had two classes this morning and i need to start doing some studying so i have my thermo textbook here some practice exam problems um and we're gonna start chugging this exam is 24 hours from today or sorry 48 hours from today so at this time in 48 hours i will be done which is nuts but um it is open textbook because basically they're like if you don't know your if you don't know your stuff even with the textbook, you won't finish in time. So um, I think it's just really helpful to just kind of go through with the textbook here now in case I do have issues and things like that. Um, got some chocolate here, some crumble cookies, and it's grind time. <laughs> Today is now Tuesday the 8th and oh my goodness um I was up until like midnight last night studying I was not really productive at all which is kind of unfortunate but at the same time I feel like I needed it I just hope I won't regret it too much um tomorrow is my thermodynamics exam and I am absolutely petrified I also now have an interview this afternoon with one of the research labs I'm hoping to work for next semester I really don't have any expectations for it just because I have negative experience, uh, but you never know. So that is today's agenda. I'm going to finish getting ready. I'm technically working right now because um, if y'all been around for a while, you know that I work as an ambassador from home. So I just managed to live chat and stuff, which is super nice because I can still do homework and things like that while I'm working. Um, but... I need to study, I need to feel more confident, I need to feel like I believe in myself, and I can't forget about my interview, so. Good morning. Hello, everyone. I... <laughs> Today is... This is a not very flattering angle. Whatever, we're gonna, let's see here. Okay, that's a little bit better. Today is Wednesday and today is essentially hell day because I have my thermo and aerodynamics exam this morning. It is like eight something right now and this test starts at 10.30. So I have some time, which is nice, but um, I am very worried. I, the way this class is formatted is you have to have a certain exam average in order for everything else to go in the grade book so i can get a 63 on this test to pass the class or have to get a 63 in order to pass the class but if i pass the class because i did so well and everything else i'm guaranteed a b which is kind of nice but also kind of scary because as low as a 63 sounds i still have some fears um never say never because 
I don't know this stuff is hard I have actually really enjoyed these classes I'm not going to lie but that does not mean I have not had my fair share of confusion and stress about them so I feel like I've studied quite a bit for them and I feel like I should be able to pull that off but I honestly just don't even know at this point so I'm going to go look over my notes a little bit I think I don't want to stress my out myself out too much this morning um, this exam is open note and open book so we can't use any of like our professor's resources but we can use our own notes and the textbook so I typically write like to write a whiteboard that I can look at across the room of all of like the little things that I'm going to forget or might come in handy such as like mock conversions so when like flow is incompressible for mock less than 0.03 no sorry 0.3 what that is and like meters per second miles per hour feet per second things like that so I'm not wasting time with those conversions so I'm gonna go do that and um hopefully not get too stressed because I typically get very anxious right before exams go team Okay guys, I am a little bit sad. I really don't know how else to describe it. I'm not gonna lie, I felt pretty decent about that exam. Not great, not spectacular, but like, all right, until I started talking to my roommate and I started talking to my friends and we have a class group chat and I'm like, if all of these kids are genuinely concerned why am I not that worried? And then that's when I get worried, is when my really, really, really smart, accomplished friends that are doing really well in this class are that worried and are panicking as much as they are. I feel like I need to be just as worried too. I would like to think I did well enough that I don't have to take the class again. I'm worried, I'm, I'm sad, like I said. I have an exam tomorrow morning that I really need to, study for it's nothing that really matters all that much it's just a chance to improve my grade which is nice but i do need to kind of muster up some motivation to want to study for that so i might just take a break for a few hours and then go study in a little bit but um i don't know we'll see morning guys today is thursday and i am about to sit down to take my statics exam i oh my gosh i was saying this the other day to my boyfriend i like i don't mean to complain but i don't think i've ever been so mentally and emotionally exhausted as i am right now not physically like i don't feel like i still have a hard time going to bed and things like that but just as far as like the amount of emotional and mental energy I have right now it is just dwindling. This week has been so stressful and it honestly shouldn't have been that stressful. I think just because of my thermo exam yesterday, I think that's just taken a lot out of me. The nice thing is my exam this morning, I don't have very much pressure at all. Um, I am very fortunate with how this class works just because of how our mini exams and then our final works so our final we have the opportunity to redo and better our grade on up to three exams so last night i studied a little bit and was originally going to try to do three exams in the hour and a half and i have just decided to do two i feel like two will give me a better chance of doing better because I will have time to double check my work and things like that and typically in the past it's just because I forget a negative sign and that kind of trickles through things or whatever so I am just going to take the hour and a half to do two exams which will be nice um not a whole lot of pressure but I just I need to keep my chin up I need to drink more coffee maybe not I don't know when I get stressed, I don't eat enough, and that definitely does not help. Or if I do eat, I eat garbage. So we're going to try to not do that today because I cannot afford that. <laughs> Wish me luck. So, so I just finished. Um, 
I am so hungry and the test is only an hour and 45 minutes, so not as bad as some of my other ones, but I'm very hungry. But I wanted to pop in and just say this, I just finished, I think it went decent, I don't know. I, of course, like the one quiz that my grade is like absolute garbage on, um, I probably spent like an hour and 10 of my hour and a half, an hour and 10 minutes of my hour and a half of this exam time on that one question, which is literally the second quiz of the entire semester. So basically it should be the easiest stuff, but I was just so confused that this is an open note thing. So I was looking through my notes from past, like homeworks and things I've done and past practice problems. And I'm like staring at this system and I'm like, this should be statically indeterminate. But I'm looking at this one homework problem I did and I'm like, that, I also thought was, but I also got an answer for that. And I know that answer is right because I did well on that homework. So I'm just confused. So I'm hoping I did it right. I ended up just pretending that it is statically determinant because I don't feel like they would give us half an hour for us to take this quiz just to say it's statically indeterminate, if you know what I'm saying. So we'll see. The second one I did, I actually think was pretty good, but um, not much I can do now. I am going to eat some food, I think, maybe relax a little bit and then head on over to my boyfriend. So let's go. Alrighty guys, today is Thursday as I mentioned. Um, I just finished up my statics final exam, which was, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm on my way over to my boyfriend's right now because we're gonna go study over there. I'm done for the day and it's only like, it's 11 o'clock now. So I studied a little bit this morning um, and now we're gonna go study at his place a little bit. I have Divi Q on Friday, so I don't have much going on um, for the rest of the day and tomorrow. So all I need to do today and tomorrow is just study and prep for that and make my cheat sheet. So that is today's plan of attack. <laughs> As and lost, as and lost, keep all your game. As and lost, as and lost, so say. As and lost, as and lost. is Friday the 11th oh my goodness what a day I have a lot to do today I'm not gonna lie I don't have much motivation to do it I'm not quite sure what my study plan and plan of attack for everything is I I have Diffie Q tomorrow at 7 30 in the morning not awesome I need to make sure I wake up on time and I'm not gonna lie I have not really studied at all for that class. I made my crib sheet that you guys saw yesterday for that class. So we do get a two-sided piece of paper that we can write notes and things on, which is so handy, especially for a lot of like the Diffy Q linear algebra stuff. Um, so it's really nice for like linear algebra, matrices, properties, etc. And then also just like Laplace transforms and things like that. So I'm very grateful that we get that. Um, but I need to go, I don't know, either do a practice test or something today. I also have to finish up some things. I have to write an essay for one of my classes that's technically due Monday, but I really want to be just, just done with all of my school after my final tomorrow morning. Ooh, please focus. Um, and then I also have a quiz to do by tonight. It's an extra credit quiz, so it's not mandatory, but of course if it's extra credit, I am going to do it. I've heard some kids were saying that it took them like an hour and a half though, and they got like a six out of 15, which still is six extra bonus points, but I'm like, 
I don't know if I have that much time today. Um, I'm gonna go do some dishes and things from last night that I never finished before my roommate gets back, just because I always feel bad when she's here and I still have dishes that aren't done. Um, I'm gonna go make some coffee and need to just kind of get things started for the day, so. So I ended up eating some cereal and had a little bit of breakfast while I put my coffee in the freezer to let it get a bit more chilled. I like my coffee iced but I don't like when the ice melts and gets watery. So either way, I am going to take a practice exam right now for Diffie Q. I'm going to make it pretty casual just because I don't want to overexert myself or get burned out too quickly just because I do have a lot of studying I need to do for the day. I typically like to do these practice exams on paper with a timer, no other distractions, just to really mimic the exam environment, but I feel like at this point I just need to get some problems in my brain, and I feel like if I want to do that twice today, five hours of timed, no distractions on paper, things like that is going to be really stressful and really mentally exhausting. So I think I'm just going to do it on my iPad, just super casual, listening to music, no pressure, no stress. Um, just because at this point I feel like I don't need to be teaching myself anything, I just need to be remembering and refreshing on some things. I have done quite well in this class, which makes me very happy, so I have quite a big bit of wiggle room. If I want to pass a class, I only need a 7% on the final, and if, if I want to drop down to a B and keep a B at the minimum, which is, of course I don't want anything less than a B. Um, I have to get a 60 on the final and my exam average right now is like an 86 or something. So I'm not overly concerned, um, but finals are challenging and finals are stressful. I have not studied as much for this exam as I wish I had, just as far as like me studying far out goes. I have done quite well on my quizzes as well, which is really comforting. Um, so we have weekly quizzes in that class, but at the same time, that's like the stuff we're learning at the time. So I haven't really touched anything before linear algebra in quite some time. Hopefully that shouldn't be that hard to just kind of pick up because I, not gonna lie, I aced that unit. So let's hope I can remember how to do it quite well. We'll see. on Saturday. I have my last exam occurring in like two minutes. So I'm in a Zoom call right now. I have all of my paper and my cheat sheet that I'm allowed and everything ready. Um, have some coffee. This boy is two and a half hours. It's difficult like I mentioned earlier. So hopefully I can end on a good note because I actually like this stuff. So wish me luck. <laughs>